What's up guys, Jamie Bond, Fish Blue Water. Day one, 2021 Operation Sailfish. We're riding out with Contender One, Team Costa. I got my man Rick Murphy representing for Yamaha here today. And we are excited. We got 47 boats fishing for a purse in excess of 533,000. Wow. Rick? That's some serious dough, bro. Yes, sir. You took a season or two off, right? You're yeah. back with the team. I am. You ready to roll? We're ready. We're ready. You know, the cool part about this, Jamie, is uh, one of the things that we were just looking at a few minutes ago was the serious XM weather. We were looking at the fish mapping as well as the marine forecast and the sea surface tips. And what's really cool and dynamic about what's happening is there's been a cold water edge to the north and the warm water edge has moved in just offshore here and all down to the south. Okay. So it'll be really interesting to follow what the teams do over the next two days as that warm water moves in or offshore. Well, you guys have that technology on your boat, so that may be a little advantageous for you guys, right? Well, we'll see if we can take advantage of the little bit of uh, homework that we've done through the Sirius and the Garmin products that we have here on the T1 boat. Perfect. So, enjoy this video. We're gonna be with them all day. I'm sure they're gonna be in the action, working hard. Thanks and don't for forget, guys, you can certainly always follow the scoring on Blue Water Movement. That's right. Live scoring and always constantly updating, whether it's this tournament or any of the future tournaments. Correct. Don't forget. Correct. So we'll see you on enjoy the Enjoy the video. See you on the rip. Okay, Luckily, buddy. good to see you. Pick this mess up, but we gotta get him back out. This is the sailfish tournament, pal. Leave it, leave it open. Open. How many did you assholes catch? Jesus <laughs> Christ! Yeah, it's a deep edge they were on. New leader on the short! There you go. Here's the long. Put that in the holder. Hey, we'll have to call it in from down here, right? Okay. Come up. Come up. ID, I got ID. I gotta find that knot. So we were fishing, obviously it's a seven line tournament and one of the lines that we fish besides the kite oh, fishing you, is a flat line. Ivan is our flatline expert. He, that's all he's ever done for years primarily because he's just loves catching all the bycatch, the kingfish, the mutton snappers, and et cetera. But guess what? We're sitting here and we see a fish flashing on my right short, comes up jumping. We thought I jumped him off and it was because Ivan already had hooked him on the down rod. So, you know, that seventh line sometimes really pays off. So we're 
C1 is on the board. A couple cranks and act like you've done it before. Yeah, yeah go, go, man. Look, what the fuck you waiting for? You want the fucking. Alright, go eat. Yeah. I don't think you got shit. No. Put it back. Down, boy. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, boys. Get the fucking camera, man. Hold, hold, hold him up in the air. I'm going I'm gonna go out, alright? I'm trying to go out. Good job on that, right? Boat eight for Ryan. Boat eight for Ryan. Ryan's confirmation number is 49, color is green. So the left side, as difficult as this fishing is, we're all fishing on helium, the whole fleet now, because there's zero wind. And the left side, Ryan had a bite. What was crazy is the fish ate a left long bait and just sat there. He didn't go north, didn't go south, didn't go west. I mean, it went on for probably a minute. Finally, he started to move off to the south, Anything popped it out of the clip, came up jumping. So that's our second fish. Looks right. Looks like him. Yeah. Shit, guys, leaving the cork in the water. Fishing deep. Rick, you can't do that with the lead on. Prospecting. How we doing, Ryan? Good. He's just kind of, kind of moving like southeast. Southeast. Northeast. Going that way. Yeah, he's coming right towards me, and I felt him wagging. It's him. Uh, I mean, I don't have no ID. We okay. got you. We got you. It's him. Back up. Back up. I don't have no ID. Oh, you got it. That's it. That's ID. Right there, wagon. Gotcha. That's ID. That's right there. You got him. Eight for Ryan. Confirmation number is fifty-five. Color blue. Fifty-five blue. Fifty-five blue. Got it. Got it. Fifty-five blue. So we're here back on the C1, and you know every team has a young guy that fishes on the team. In this particular team on the C1, we have Ryan. We call him Cupcake. Look at this face. Look at that smile. And so guess what? He now has caught. How many you caught? Two or three? Two. So we've caught a total of three so far today on day one. And Ryan is our big dog so far. Fishing on the left side and just simply waiting for it to happen. I love his young patience. Most young kids don't have any patience. And this one, he's sitting there for days. Can somebody pass me a sandwich? Yeah, he's going, but I'm not quite ready yet. So he's got a lot of style, love it. And you know what? Looks like the fishing's picking up a little because of the wind, for sure. That always helps. Yeah. 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 Lazy I said he came up, and I think Steve saw him like wag on the surface, but he settled down and never came up jumping and just kind of kept tracking off. I hear the sailfish are running this time of year. Try it again. Here, I'm going to go out a little bit more, right? You ready? Yep. You open? Yep. Alright, um, you're gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna fuck you a little bit. He's tightened up on your short, hop your short over. Tight line or you got it? Oh, fuck, where's that grip? Right there, it's good. Alright, good. Good, good, good. Drop this spinner and keep cracking it. There you go. Oh, I found it. Acting like him, maybe. I don't know, he had a head shake like that right there. It feels like him. Almost it's gotta like, be him, dude. They're doing weird shit, so I would imagine this has gotta be a fucking sailfish, man. Yeah, this fish would be crazy. They've been doing weird shit, dude. 
He ain't doing shit, really. Not if anything, he's heading back. Yeah, if, get, if anything, he's going back That's behind fine. you. <laughs> Kind of acting like him, just kind of like pumping towards us. Do you guys see any deep color or anything in the street from that? I don't, know. See, I don't see no much. deep color, but he's coming right up. <laughs> I mean, that was hard to believe that tail face, but... What the fuck else would it be? I don't know. Big black thing, maybe? No, it's not that either. Maybe almost, a wahoo? Honestly, honestly, like almost like a big cobia. No, it's not a sail. It looks like a wahoo or a kingfish. So, a cupcake here, again, he just, you know, he must be living right. They say that if you're catching them all the time, then you're living right. If you're not catching them, you might need to check to see if you're, how you're living. And obviously, Captain Cupcake just put a 20 pound plus kingfish in the box. And uh, we didn't really know what it was at first. So you have to fight it delicately, but certainly that's the difference with circle hooks. And we're using some diamond presentation fluorocarbon leader and with the circle hooks you were able to hook that fish on the outside of all those teeth and that's how a lot of guys catching these mahis as well as wahoos and tunas Here we are at Sailfish Marina, Operation Sailfish. Day one is over, and the contender Yamaha fishing team, ah, we're in the middle of the road. I think we caught three fish. There was other teams that had three fish before we did, and based on time, we're behind those guys. But the good thing is that there's a day two, and it's not totally out of reach. I think the leader has six, and uh, he didn't catch those till late today. So we're gonna have to make the right decisions, turn right or turn left when we pull out of here in the morning. But if you guys wanna follow us, make sure you just stay tuned to the YouTube channel for all the updated events, as well as the events and videos that we're gonna have coming out uh, throughout the rest of the season. All right, so day one is over. Uh, I wanna thank the entire team, Joe Niebuhr, everybody from Contender for letting us ride along, Rick Murphy. He's typically never camera shy, so we know we can always expect some good feedback from him on video. And uh, looking forward to day two. We're gonna jump on with Jolene tomorrow and see what happens.